what's going on everyone welcome back to the channel thank you for watching and thank you for dropping by Jane Olasco here on this channel we talk about lifestyle and sneaker related stuff and welcome back to the another outlet and hopefully we can find something really good for resale and also something for um, personal pair and as you can see we are already in a Nike outlet store and checking out first up check out this kids section hmm a lot of 30% um, off so how about looking into the Kyrie this one is $79.99 with additional 30% um, some kind of colorway of crabs is that it I'm not sure hmm well what do you think on this one it's mostly some kind of mostly dominantly red with a speckle but $79.99 with additional 30 it's not bad for the price though what do you think can you please leave a comment down below okay Air Jordan Legacy 312 for GS and including with the 30% um, this one is not bad for the price with $79.99 additional 30 but um, the resale value it's not bad it's not really good though uh, with different colorway like this one same price but the market value is not also good um, unlike the lows which is much better but this one I'm not gonna fast for now so moving on with a different one women's air Jordan 1 high zip this one is kind of premium black colorway the price mm, 49.97 with additional 30% Wow, this one is really good for personal wear for women, especially it is the price alone. Wow, you can't go wrong. Well, how about same woman Air Jordan 1 high zip premium with a colorway is okay, some kind of burgundy or something. $49.97 with additional 30%. Mm, I hope this one, I wish this one have some kind of um, lace, but the price, you can't go wrong also $49.97, good for personal. How about $74.97 for the Epic React? Another Epic React $74.97. Ooh, 30% of these good running shoes. Well, if this um men's, I would take it, but this one is for women. Well, I'll look into the sizes, but no size for me. So I'm gonna pass um, resale, not good for now. How about uh, elementary act? 49.97 mm, this is the price what we want right especially element 55 has been like uh, going down the road 49.97 with additional 30 they have a full size run good price what do you think all right moving on with the air max up tempo 95 this colorway the white and black same with the other colorway this one is 59.97 with additional 30 percent if you are into up tempo for collection not bad for but for resale not for now all right air max up tempo also 95 just like what i said this one is um kind of the chicago colorway comes with 74.97 with additional 30 percent this one also good for the collection how about the nike air max 720 waves Mm, 79.97 with additional 30 percent the quality of the leather also the nice coloring but the outsole is not really good but this one is a good for the collection but for resale i will gonna pass all right nike retalion tr2 34.97 and the 39.99 good price for a training shoes okay nike air max 98 what do you think on this one i like the color of blue a little bit yellow accent with the white and also 99.97 additional 30 good price for um personal pair but not for resale all right nike react element 87 well this one has been sitting here forever 79.97 with additional 30 percent this one's been sitting before the lockdown and still sitting after the lockdown and i don't know not much going on this one not much of a resale value but hey pass 
Okay, what else? What we could find 59.97 for the Nike Airsoft Pegasus 35 TB wide shoes. Mm, 59.97 with additional 30. You can't go wrong on this one. I would cop this one for resale, and especially this one is a really good running shoes. Um, also for a wide foot, considering all the thing, good ones. Okay, Jordan Isle. What are we looking at? Oh, still here. 79. Oh, pass. Pass. <laughs> pass. Oh no, these are still sitting here. Okay, Jordan B. Loyal. Now we are talking. This price of this one, $59.97 with additional 30%. You can't go wrong on that one. Nice quality shoes for the price. And also, it's kind of replacement. Yep, replacement for the retros. I would say not bad for the price though. Okay, Lebron 16 Super Braun Remix. $79.97 with additional 30%. What do you think? This one is really good for the personal pair. I would love to have them for personal pair. And also the price alone is not bad for resale. Uh, comps, uh, a little bit iffy. So moving on with the hash wall or the 30% hash wall. Clearance wall, looking into the Lebron Ooh, 7QS. Not bad for this one. My size 10 and a half. Price 129, not bad because it has a 30% off discount i would say i'm gonna cap this one for resale i'm thinking a personal pair because it is my size mm, very tempting but hey resale for now okay what else this one the, uh, looks like a very simple shoes what do you think nike drop type hdr then in house 49.97 Looking into the resale value on this one, I did. It's not really good, so I'm gonna pass. Okay, moving on. Good, good sample right there. But this one, hmm, another Lebron. Wow, what the price. Why would you price? Come on, Nike. This is already like been selling on the other outlet though. Okay. How about this one? $49.97 with this Habok running shoes, Jordan running shoes with some kind of react and everything. Mm. Look good. Nice looking good running shoes. Might be for personal, but I'm gonna wait out. And it's not my size though. Okay, what else? Wow, now we are talking Nike SB sample pair mm. this one i've seen it on the other store that they are very high price but this one it is a sample pair so i'm gonna take it for resale it and there we go this is one we bought on the nike factory store so as you can see not much but um i did pick up some good ones that i really wanted to resell it for a quick flip and something for a long run um just like this one it is really good price for the lebron uh, super brown mostly about size 11 and a half since there is a limit in buying because they only have five items per person so i have to decide which one so i pick up all the size 11 and then i pick up also this jordan b loyal one two three four five and another lebron right there lebron 7 qs some samples and the nike arizona pegasus so starting off we're going to talk about this nike arizona pegasus 35 tb 4e which is uh, means wide shoes so why did i bought this one what will be my profit so based on the market value right now, why I'm buying this one, it's because one is, it is a good running shoes. It is in the line of the Airsoft Pegasus 35. And also, uh, most importantly, is a wide. So considering 
it is a running shoes that's what what we need in the summer some athletes some regular people will try to use them for running and also it is for a wide person wide foot so i went for it okay so as you can see right now there's a lot of different um colorways um someone are listed for 71 this one is listed for 120 and this one is 119 but looking into what being sold check that out okay so um just off today this one is sold for 64 probably it was less than that um another one was sold yesterday for 80 dollar with free, with the shipping 71 with free shipping um what else so this one also sold for 99 based on the comps right now this one is um consistently reselling i'm also wanting to do this a quick flip at least i'm making about 15 to 20 dollar um this one i believe will sell out within a week all right so moving on with the nike lebron 7 qs the color rate is the team metallic red silver retail and this one is 200 we bought them for 129 plus additional 30 percent so this one was a return because this is the only one that they have in the store and not bad for this one and especially it is my size i kind of tempted to have this one mm, i don't know i don't know so nice quality nice design on this one but let's see the comps looking into stock x right now they are the size 10 and a half last sale was 125 and looking into grab somewhere the price range went go at least lower than 100 and a couple days ago selling to 125 125 121 now looking into the ask now as you can see there is not a lot of reseller of size 10 and a half so look at that one the lowest now is 132 based on the last sale was 125 now because they already sold the cheapest one and the one who's asking now is 132 so the case maybe will be this one will sell out into a higher price so either i'm gonna keep it for the collection or for resale i'm still making a more than uh 30 percent because this one 129 minus the 30 and if i wanted to resell it for 132 which is the lowest right now then at least um 30 to 40 percent return of investment on the lebron Q, uh, 7 qs so what do you think on this one you think i'm gonna keep it for a personal pair and moving on with sample pair so we got this nike sb one of the classic waffle running shoes i went for this nike sb because what's going on with the market value of the nike sb right now is going up the price and in my knowledge as uh, in reselling game um sample pair are really good in reselling games so i would um, price this one for a higher and so no let's talk about on this lebron super brown and as you can see there or they call this the lebron 16 remix or something like that now the ebay is much better market uh 100 105 109 that is uh bids 105 124 so based on that it's not bad though so how about are they reselling so here you go two days ago 105 105 124 so most likely they are reselling very well although they are not consistently like everyday sale but prices are more um, better on ebay rather than StockX, as you can see right there so not bad for this one 
I'm just gonna wait out a little bit because I knew the uh, market on this one right now will be flooded but the main thing is you're looking to a 200 retail value and then we we got this for 79.97 additional 30 so somewhere around 50 ish 55 or 60 dollar so why would i skip on buying this especially it is a quality good basketball shoes and it is on lebron so i would say less risk for the price of more than 70 percent of the retail all right so next one we got the jordan be loyal black game royal and this one in retail for 130 um bought them for 59.97 with the additional 30 so one two three four five as the limit so why and why did i bought this one for resale and this is not the retros right but looking into that it's like a would say a replacement because the color black with the patent and also the icy bottom so not bad for this jordan <laughs> be loyal and the quality not bad also the leather thing 59.97 additional 30 percent so somewhere around 40 ish 42 somewhere right there why would i buy this one for resale and based on the market value right now ebay look at that so some of them are reselling for 100 109 100 mostly above 100 but this one is a little bit uh, lower 94 99 popular for this thing because if you can see 19 watchers so i would say not bad right that is a good sign are they selling yes they are selling for 100 100 100 100 100 94 99 uh best offer accepted 9100 so the mere fact that this is a low key i would say a low key jordan shoes so base always check for research probably am i gonna go 100 and then uh, buyer pay for the shipping so that is a good profit and that uh will be a mix of long-term and a short-term investment um lebron 16 uh super brown probably a little bit longer um but the price you can't go around that one this one not bad also because it is somewhat a retro um based on my research and also i would say it will sell out for one week and also a long term for those who are willing to pay extra for a pair of sample of a liberal i mean for um nike sb and for the waffle what do you think what do you think on this pickup can you please leave a comment down below and if you really really like it please leave a thumbs up and also and that would be all in this video i hope you learned something and thank you for dropping by and thank you for watching that will be all see you later peace Pag ingat po kayo. Bye-bye.